And there's Blake Shelton on 96.3 Rio Country. It's Brian Allen. I am so happy to have Frank Ortega in the studio with me. First of all, welcome back to Arizona. Welcome home, and welcome to your radio home, my friend. Thank you, brother. Just like we were, we were saying, this is home for me, man. Yeah. I'm really glad to be here. You know, and I got to ask you, because I, I have no idea. I moved here. I, I've been out here forever. I think I moved here in, like, 89. Were you here? Do you remember uh, Legend City? Were you are you here? kidding me? Do you really? Are you kidding me, man? Yeah, we used to go out there all the time, and... You know, uh, God, it's so good to come home and it, it, hearing that right there. Yeah. And then uh, it reminds me of Wallace and Lamo show. Oh, yeah. All yeah. that stuff. It was legendary. And I'll tell you something else. I got in a conversation. I was over at the Telemundo uh, network yesterday right. with those great people. And uh, we started talking about Manzanita Speedway. Oh, my gosh. That's yeah. another one. And that's not here. But my daddy used to take five kids in a station wagon. We'd pile in and go. Watch those races. Out there all the time. So many great memories here. It is. And you know what? The Valley is just such a huge place. And, and uh, man, it's so great to have you back. I, uh, I we, This is the first time we've actually met face-to-face. Yeah. And I, <laughs> I know you call yourself the tallest Latin guy in music, but do, you got so, you got some height on me. I yeah. was like, he can't be that. How tall are you? <laughs> I'm 6'2". Are you? And, uh, yeah, it started out as a joke, you know, uh, <laughs> calling me the tallest Latin man in country music. And it's kind of stuck, so I'm just going to run with it. You've been home here for a little while. Uh, you got to hang out with the family yesterday, right? I did, man. I There's a few things that happen when I come to town. I, of course, I see my mom and my daddy, and yeah. then uh, I go to Pete's. Oh, Pete's Fish my and gosh. Chips. What'd you order while you were there? I always get the same thing. I get the Monster Burger with, uh, I get bacon on it. Oh, you got Of to. course, and then uh, I get double cheese on it. If there, anybody, from, if the Pete's family, I'm not going to name names. Y'all know who you are. We need to name the F.O. burger. I need the F.O. burger. <laughs> no, they should right. do that. It's they double totally... bacon, double cheese that... on the Monster Burger. Okay, seriously, we we need yeah. to start a petition or something. Please that do done. that here at the radio station. You, you know, we're on it. I appreciate that. We're All right. all... <laughs> Y'all going to wait till I die. When you come back the next time, you'll have your own burger. Yeah, people get statues. I'm going to get a Monster Burger, uh, F.O. burger. <laughs> all right. That's awesome. Hey, and I know uh, we were talking off the air a little bit ago before we jumped on. Um, you just had vocal surgery not that long ago. How's things going with that? Thankfully, man, they're going great. Um, yeah, I had vocal surgery uh, April 19th. So the first time I got to sing was just recently. Just uh, uh, um, I was in, uh, I did a little small deal in Orlando. Uh-huh. Um, a great thing with the Team Gomez Foundation out right. there. Uh, they raise money for help boys and girls clubs so it was fantastic to be there and a little event in nashville acoustically i can sing so in october the end of this month i should be ready to rock good 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 yeah yeah, and i was going to ask i I knew you were in uh orlando uh last was this last weekend right yeah yeah it was it was last weekend that's right and uh i know you got a ton of friends out there have you Mm -hmm. talked to any of them with the hurricane going on and all that hurricane yeah yeah you know um the last i checked this morning and got phone calls that there didn't appear to be major structural damage out there, so yeah. we really, really dodged the bullet. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. but it's not over. But uh, no, so far, so good. Knock on wood. You yeah. Know? Well, glad that they're okay. And uh, still got a lot of people you want to see here while you're home, I'm sure. There's nothing better than seeing familiar faces. Oh, yeah. And so, matter of fact, that tomorrow night, Saturday, tomorrow night, 6 o'clock, I'll let everybody know that's listening. Y'all are welcome. Um, we're going to meet over at Saddle Ranch over there at Westgate. I okay, It's called yeah. Westgate. Yep. And, uh saddle ranch at 6 p.m and we're just gonna hang out and have have a big old time there hey so everybody's welcome come on now that's gonna be a huge party right there you just open yeah. it up you know yeah that, right? you know i got my boy greg soto here and right last time i said we did it and i announced it at his house <laughs> which is, it was He's crazy like, yeah thanks for that yeah, yeah we, we had yeah, you're we, still cleaning up right yeah yeah it was pretty crazy <laughs> but um and i saw on uh on the facebook you have uh, kind of a cool announcement you're gonna do here in yeah a little bit. Can yeah you hang out for a little bit yeah yeah of course i can brother love to you all right we will be back more with no, frank ortega one for real right country is 96.3 kswg brian allen on a friday and frank ortega in studio he's back home in arizona visiting you you've uh we were talking a little bit ago you've seen uh so many family and friends and and you got a bunch of people you want to give a shout out to oh i do you know when i come home i usually don't do so many shout outs but when i come home i like to acknowledge my people absolutely just people that i've even met quickly but all my arizona people but so i'm gonna give a little bit of shout out for man you got the floor it's yours first of all i need to give a shout out to a little girl named emma morris at oakwood elementary in pr and her whole class over there too i know they're listening yeah all right, y'all. I said you first so y'all can get back to work now. Get back to work, all right? 
Uh, my girl Kaylee with American Airlines. How you doing, girl? Hey, uh, and uh, Andy over at the La Grande bought out the boots. He fixed my hat. Yeah. Fit, fits my hat. Gets all the that look kind of going. Stuff. That's right. And then uh, Telemundo people. I mentioned them earlier. Yeah. Fantastic people. Got some great things coming with those guys, so I'm very grateful for them as well. Awesome. And of course, I can't forget uh, my sponsor, Three Known Tequila and uh, and Corral Boots. So I want to give a shout out, but I want to give a special mention to a young man. I posted if you go back on my personal page on Frank Ortega at frankortega.com, click the Facebook icon, go to my personal page. Yeah. A while back ago, I, I I posted about this guy and it went viral all over the country because my mom and daddy went to Whataburger. And they had a flat, and this guy, Gibron Salazar, is a manager. He came out there, fixed a flat. I posted about him. I heard that story. Yeah, yeah, and it was so great, and the darn thing went viral all over the country. I was getting messages. And, yeah. And so I just want to give a shout-out to that fellow there. And I'm going to stop by and see him if I can here. And That's cool. So, that is very Arizona cool. people, man, hard at work right there. Thank you, by the way, for accepting my friend request on Facebook the oh, other day. I saw that. I'm like, I got, I got a hook up, And, and yeah, uh, I saw that you, like when you do the show, you, you – like your live shows are amazing and you do the whole you get the, the like the mariachi pants when you're up on stage <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. and it's it's you got yeah. that look man it's well you know it's easy it comes easy for yeah, me yeah. Um, I, it, people are who we are right and right right so uh i'm latin and i'm proud of that but i'm american and i'm very proud of that so i'm just this blend so it just comes natural for me to wear my mariachi pants out on stage with my cowboy hat. You know what? Here's the this thing. Fits good, you you know? look good doing it. You look well, comfortable doing it. You look good doing it. If I did, if I seriously, <laughs> can you ser- seriously see me standing in here? I'm going to send you a pair. <laughs> I'm going to send you a pair. Make you wear them when you're in here. How All about right, that? You're going to make me wear them? Oh, that's right. You see, wear them. See, that's when you're going to be glad it's radio and you can't see what's going on <laughs> here. Hey, and this is kind of weird. We were talking about this off the air. I know you're pretty tight with Dwight Yoakam. And my grandma used to live like three doors down from his aunt when I was growing up as a kid. That is crazy. And you were, and then you like dropped some knowledge on me that was just unbelievable. Yeah, that is crazy. So yeah, I I'm friends with uh, the family as well, and I happen to know somebody probably lived. Were you next door to them? Dwight's aunt lived like three doors down from my grandma. I'm not going to name names there, but I guarantee you they're listening. Yeah, they're going to they're going to find that to be rather interesting. So we'll talk <laughs> after you. We'll give them a call. Okay, I, what a small totally world, man. She, she lived in uh, Minerva Park. Wow. And uh, I I know that you uh, that you posted on your Facebook page that you had like this cool announcement that you wanted to do. Yeah. And I, I don't even seriously I don't even know what this is. And I asked yeah. Frank when he got here, "Are you going to tell me before we go go in the air?" He's like, "No, <laughs> no." Well. Um, People that know me know I've always loved Dwight Yoakam's music. I love that Bakerfield sound. Oh, yeah. And and that's the direction I'm going to live in for the rest of my career. And um, I've opened for a lot of people. I had some great moments. But uh, we just got the call, and I'm going to open for Dwight Yoakam. Oh, my God. And I could not be more excited. And I'm so glad to share that right here at this station. Oh, man. But, um, in my home state. But um, So I'm going to open for Dwight um, in uh, Houston, Texas on December December 29th. Okay. And then I'm going to open for him the next night at the Windstar Casino Resort in uh, Thackerville, Ohio. But I know the tickets are selling like crazy already. But I'd love anybody, man, to even be near there. I'd love to see y'all and come on out. It's going to be a big deal. Oh, yeah. I I hope it's the beginning of uh, many more with him because uh, I couldn't think of a better guy for me to open for you seeing know? the two of you together would be uh that that would be a yeah. great night of some live country yeah. music right there yeah i'm excited about the show i i, I want to go now hey uh frank ortega thank you so much for stopping back and welcome home my friend enjoy your stay here let's get something from frank on the radio right now man and best of luck to you thank you so much for coming by thank you brother i appreciate it man